to the Mac Member Minute. Today we have Paul Gertz from the Balanced Path Wellness Centre in Medway. Hey Paul. Hey Laura, thanks for having me on. Oh, thank you so much. It's a beautiful day out there today. Um, happy to have you. So let's get right to it. Um, why should someone choose acupuncture to address their health issues? Um, well, I'm interested in helping people with chronic health issues. Um, I would notice that when I was working on the other side of the fence, I wasn't um, but we weren't very, very, very effective at helping people through those. We were telling people, well, you got to live on this medication. You, you're just going to have to live with this. And I didn't, uh, I didn't believe that. So the more I looked into Chinese medicine, the more I realized that it, it did have answers for a lot of chronic health issues and it was addressing the roots of those issues. And so um, in my practice, I help people get to the root of a lot of their chronic health complaints. Yeah. Um, so what advantages does an acupuncturist have over other health um, practitioners when treating chronic health issues? Um, and another reason, it's just an extension of the last answer, another reason why I became an acupuncturist is its scope of practice allowed me to do a lot of things. In fact, I wrote my degree. Uh, my undergrad degree, I wrote it in counseling. It, so it's it's not psychotherapy. It's not any. It's not uh, it's not psychology. It's a counseling degree. So I had active counseling classes because I knew I knew a lot of what I'd be doing was helping people. Like a lot of uh, our health issues. And when I say they're in the mind, I don't mean that they're made up. I mean that they're caused by stress. They're caused by how we react to to the world around us. And so. Um, um, but and, and as you can imagine, um, if if being healthy is making better decisions and and keeping your mind in a good place, there's there's some work to be done around that. You can see culturally or, or uh, societally, we're having some problems right now. Oh, um, wow. So collectively, we're a pretty sick nation. And so, um, but that that was a that was a really big recognition on my part at a pretty young age, and um, and so my attraction to working with. Um, with people, um, with people's minds, um, yeah. is very important. And the last year has been stressful for so many people that have never been stressed before. <laughs> well, the other thing too, yeah, you're right. And the other thing I, I'll add, I didn't, I did, I should have added there is a big part of my practice is nutrition as well. So I do, um, I do um, a number of things under the scope of my license. And that's what's difficult about being called an acupuncturist because, um, the actual needling is a part of what I do for people, and, and I, I want people to understand that value. Yeah, so there's more to it. Oh, yeah, much more. So now what sets you apart from other acupuncturists? <laughs> well, I, I, I partly just answered that question, but I'll further it by saying that um, I do have experience on both sides of the fence. I have a vast uh, knowledge and experience. I've been in health, some form of health care for 30 years, or, or just about 30 years, uh, 24 as an acupuncturist. And uh, I love what I do. I take it very personally when people don't get yeah, the results they're looking for. So I do, uh, I go above and beyond, I like to think. And uh, I do, I also have an integrated health network that I started with wonderful practitioners in it. So um, if I don't have the answer for that person, somebody in that group is going to. Yeah. So we, my, my patients do very well. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for joining us today. And um, I'm hoping to see you in person sometime soon when we can get oh, yeah. back to in-person events. That Thank you, Paul. Great. Thanks, Laura. Appreciate Have it. Have a good one. Bye. You too. Bye.